5 p.m. Supposed to be done with my day, but I just got an emergency call. Evidently, there was a mountain lion attack on some llamas. My understanding is that one of them didn't make it, and another one's pretty injured. I got a long drive to get to where I need to go. The sun's already starting to come down, so I'm going to be fighting daylight. Hopefully, we can get the one that's okay, uh, it's still alive, patched up. I don't know. We might want to move the baby first. My guess is we need to get it out of there. Let me take a look and see what, what we got going on. It turns out that one of the llamas didn't make it. The younger, smaller one uh, is deceased and partially eaten. We had an attack. The abdomen was ripped open. There's definitely some wounds on the head as well. Um, it's most probable that it was a mountain lion. There's a lot of mountain lions that are around here. Um, I'm kind of surprised that they didn't drag it away. They must have gotten scared off by the other, by the other llamas. Um, you can see they ripped through the, through the ribs like they were nothing. Um, this was a powerful attack. Um, we're going to need to take this body because they're going to come back for it tonight. So we're in a situation where it's uh, coming nightfall. This cat is going to come back. First things first, I got to get this body out of here. I got to make sure it doesn't have something to come back to and take. This is obviously one of life's rude moments. I'm going to be wrapping the body up in a tarp and then I'm going to be placing it on a gurney and I have to carry it out. Uh, there's no pickup in this location, especially tonight. So I'll actually be placing the llama in the front seat of my truck and delivering the body to a crematorium myself. Now that I've taken the body of the deceased llama away, I need to address the other two llamas that are in the herd. One of them turns out to not have any injuries on him whatsoever. He's older, he's wiser, he was able to fight off the predators. But the other one, Santiago, did sustain a very bad laceration. Oh, hi, honey. Hi, no, baby. It's okay. We're going to get you all patched up. Okay. I know you put up quite a fight, didn't you? In looking at this wound that, that Santiago has sustained, uh, it's a very large laceration. goes all the way through the skin and all the way into the muscle. It needs to be flushed out, cleaned really well, and I need to get that closed. I need to do it tonight. It's just, yeah. The other thing I need to do is remove all the hair that's around it. So shaving is very important and is part of the surgical prep. I'm shaving his wound, all the hair around it, so that we can try to get it clean and keep the bacteria out of it. The first step to this closure is going to be to actually get the muscular layers and the tissues underneath the skin closed first. Basically this is ripped apart. So this tissue was here and this tissue was here. So we have to put it together internally and externally. Put a little light on the situation. I'm going to use absorbable sutures so that they will slowly absorb over time because I won't be removing the sutures that are internal. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to close some of the inner layers. There's a number of muscular layers in here as well as subcutaneous layers that have been ripped apart. There's probably going to be some nerve damage, I would imagine. Easy, honey. Can you please be still? After closing the internal layers of the tissue, the important thing is to try to get the skin to close 
in a, in a fashion that it will lay properly and hopefully re-adhere. Scar face. I know. Scars make you look distinguished. Dude, chicks dig scars sometimes. Chicks totally dig scars. I mean, I know we kind of ruined your prospects, but, you know. The external sutures, I did a non-absorbable, and I will be coming back in 14 days to remove them. I hope you can keep this little piece of skin, bud. We have good closure. I think that we have really good apposition of the tissue. I'm hoping that this is going to heal and stay together. Okay, well, basically we had a very, very large laceration. Um, it tore a bunch of the internal um, tissues of the mouth. Did not go all the way through to the oral cavity, um, but it required internal sutures that I had to close up as well as external sutures um, and I just by slow tedious patience got the inside done and I got the outside done I'm hoping that this little piece right here is gonna is gonna hold that's my biggest concern and that's why I did the internal as well but the main thing is to have it closed even if it doesn't end up staying and healing, um, that'll act as a Band-Aid. So I'm putting alu spray on here just to try to keep the bugs off of it. It's all sutured closed. There's antibiotics internally. I put some antibiotic spray on externally, and I've put a coat of the alu spray, which is an aluminum spray, on topically to try to keep the flies off and to act as a liquid bandage. So what do you say we do a group selfie? <laughs> He's like, ugh. Yes, with your war wounds. You're a good boy. He's stable enough he can move around. You're a good boy. Yes. You're okay, honey. You're okay. Okay. Whew. So good. He's got quite a stinky burp. <laughs> so our boys have been moved to a new location. Safer, safe from mountain lions, and uh, so this is this is their new temporary home. So I'm here today to do a little follow up and a recheck on Mr. Santiago, who was attacked by a mountain lion. Hi, honey. Let's take a look. Oh no, okay. I know you're not too thrilled about this. Oh, stop. Go oh, out those sutures today. Let me see how well you healed up. The first step that I'm gonna take is cleaning this wound really, really well. There's a little bit of discharge and exudate that has been caked up all over the sutures and attached to the sutures, and so I wanna clean that up really, really good. The second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm going to pull out all of the sutures. I'm gonna cut them and pull them out. After I'm done pulling all the sutures out, then I'm going to scrub it again, make sure it's super, super clean, check what my edges look like, and check what the skin is doing and how it's healing. So that whole section right there is going to be a scab. It's going to come off. And then it's going to granulate in underneath. In. Okay. Yeah, it's going to fill back in just fine. Santiago, you did really good, buddy. You did really good. I'm going to take um, a salve and place it anywhere along the edges of the wound to help 
the body to heal a little bit faster and to also protect it from the flies, the dirt, and other bacteria. You're a very good baby. Very, very good patient. What a good boy. Overall, Santiago's doing fantastic. I'm really pleased with how the wound is, is healing. The skin actually has completely adhered. And greater than that, I'm really happy that both he and his brother are now living in a, in a safe location.